The Polestar family continues to evolve and expand. Now the electric Focus brand has a proper crossover in its lineup, and this one packs a heck of a punch right out of the gate. Say hello to the Polestar 3. The Polestar 3 comes swinging strong out right away. It's powerful, expensive, has good range numbers, and for its first model year is incredibly well equipped. This is a dual motor EV with one up front and one out back. The standard setup delivers 489 horsepower and 620 pound-feet of torque. Or you can jump to the performance pack, which pushes out 517 horsepower and 671 pound-feet of torque. You'll need it too since this weighs almost 5,700 pounds in its lightest spec and up to 5,886 at its heaviest. Still, even with that heft, the Polestar 3 can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in the mid to high 4 second range. Speaking of range, the standard version is estimated to deliver 300 miles, while the performance pack knocks that down to about 270 miles. That's from the 111 kilowatt hour battery pack of which 107 kilowatt hours are usable. Polestar says the 3 can handle charging speeds of up to 250 kilowatts, and that will let the 3 go from 10 to 80% in about 30 minutes. Now, this thing won't be cheap. The starting price is $85,300. The good news here is that Polestar is including the Plus and Pilot packages for the initial models. On the Plus pack, that means you get a 25 speaker Bowers & Wilkins sound system, soft closing doors, and a heated steering wheel. With the Pilot pack, the Polestar 3 includes Park Assist and Driver Assist, and Polestar will take this package further when it adds in the optional Pilot Pack with LiDAR during the second quarter of 2023. Now the 3 will have a LiDAR system, multiple cameras, ultrasonic sensors, and it will allow the car to 3D scan the environment around it. The idea is that all of this will be used for some deep level of autonomous driving in the future. If you want to include the Performance Package, that one will cost you six grand. But for that, you get the extra power already mentioned, plus the air suspension is retuned. You get unique 22-inch alloy wheels, Pirelli P0 tires, and plenty of Swedish gold details. More specifically on the suspension, though, the Polestar 3 gets a dual-chambered air suspension system. The dampers can adjust every two milliseconds. Meanwhile, out back, there's a dual-clutch system on the rear axle. This allows the Polestar 3 to vector torque as needed. Polestar says the power bias is towards the rear, so it should add up to be something that's far more entertaining to drive than you might expect. In the cabin, you'll find Android Automotive OS running on the 14 and a half inch center screen, while Nvidia powers the chip tech. As for the actual touch points, Polestar has sought out sustainable material procured in a manner to reduce the vehicle's life-cycled carbon footprint as much as possible. It looks good, offers plenty of range, sounds like it will drive quite nicely and it packs plenty of power, and the car comes exceptionally well equipped. It's certainly not cheap, but it could be the way for Polestar to start seeing a sharp uptick in sales volume. And it's not the last model coming either, as another crossover type vehicle will follow in the Polestar 4 before we get to the potentially amazing Polestar 5. This is shaping up to be one heck of a lineup.